got dads. G'day guys, it's Jar here, and welcome back to Dream Night with our boys. So we went our first long date was with Craig with a semi good ending. When the, then we went on a long date with Matt, got a good ending. Now we're gonna go on a date with Hugo and see how that goes. So just a reminder, Hugo Vega is the middle school teacher slash high school teacher. Writer of scholar arts articles in the 18th century literature for various esteemed publications. If you're on here to tell me that my son put a cherry bomb in your trash, I know, and I'm sorry. So a little, a little, a little taste of him. The Quaker lab assistant from NCS just reminds me of you. <laughs> we got to Abby, yes! Abby so reminds me of me. When changing time, make sure to tighten the bolts in a starfish pattern. Oh yeah, I never even thought of that. Though. So we're gonna go on our second date with, oh, the teacher, and I'm ruining everything. So we're gonna go, like I said, second date with Hugo, and then we'll do the third and final date. So I should take Hugo up on his offer to hang out. I had a lot of fun with him at the aquarium. I tap on a message from my dad book. Hugo, hey, still want a cheese board? Ew. Hugo responds with you in Slido. Hold on. Colin is still being a human shithead. He won't stop sending the same pictures of Jackie Chan in the mesh shirt to the printer. And it's a nice picture, but it's wasting all of, the, all of my paper. Whoops, sorry, I meant to that another teacher. But seriously, he's insufferable. There's pictures of Jackie Chan everywhere. <laughs> Save a couple of for me. My Ch Jackie Chan scrapbook is a little light on content. And I really would... Really think this would help. Well, <laughs> let me get back to you after class ends. Well, guess there's only one thing to do for now. Watch some paranormal ice road hunters. Dad nap. Well, that too. I hop on the couch and turn on to see some antique road warriors for background noise. I got this ornate cabinet from a yard sale for $5 in 1982. To be told that. To be told that it once belonged to the Confederate General is a huge surprise. This will feed my tribe for weeks. I really like the way the apprise's voice echoes through the mouthpiece of his leather armor slash bondage gear. Maybe this is an ASMR thing. Amanda keeps telling me about. Maybe it is an ASMR. And I drift off to sleep. I should do an ASMR video. They seem fascinating. I joined away by a dad book message from Hugo. Hey, sorry about that. Colin's in the principal's office now. He said he knows Jackie Chan personally and that Jackie won't be happy to hear this. I get off work in a little while and I continue to be very serious. And uh, and I continue to be very serious about the cheese board. I fumble and reply. Yeah, so am I. Hugo and I work out the details and I'm all set to meet him in a few hours. Amanda walks in the door just as I'm about to leave. What's up, Buttercup? Just getting her from school. Where are you going? Oh, I have a meeting with the board. The board? Uh, cheese board is what I meant. I'm getting cheese with your teacher. Will you be able to fend for yourself until dinner time? Mm. I'll live. But if you can talk to him into going easy on me for the final. Sorry, buddy. That bull is in your core. What's in my call, you ask? Just a variety of delicious cheese, meats, and their accompanying crackers. Maybe some olives, Aww. a little bit of fig jam. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I get you. You're excited about the cheese. Oh, speaking of cheese, this is so off topic, but not really either, because it's about cheese. So my cousin's getting married. Um, by the time you're seeing this, it should be this Saturday. And I'm actually really excited, because they're not having a cake. They're having cheese wheels as cakes. Like, So you know how you have like a three-tier cake, right? For a wedding, or... Four or five, seven, a hundred tiers. Was so instead of that, she's having three tiers of cheese. So you know the cheese wheels you get. So she's having three of those, stacked up. And I'm so excited, sweetie. You'll get it one day. But now I go to see a man about some manchetto. Please leave. I walk into a quinch French diner. Hugo weighs me down to a booth in the corner. He looks pretty tired. Oh, no. All day. Every day is a long day oh. when you teach middle schoolers. Colin started a gambling ring. 
a picture of Jackie Chan was just a cover. He's biting in those little rubber band braces that are also shapes. Oh, I remember those! Is that the one my parents think? That means sex stuff. Those ones, yeah. But the ports are just the sensational news media capitalizing on the fear of some bad parents as usual. At least I hope. Mm. Yikes. Ooh. Right now, I'm very ready for some fine wine and some delicious cheese. A oh, just stops by and takes an order for the biggest cheese plate you have. For the love of God, just please put the cheese in my mouth and recommends us some wine. Do you two want a scorecard for trivia? There is trivia. Yep, we're starting to feel minutes. Oh. Pretty much everyone here is playing. We'd love to play, right, Joe? Uh, yeah, sure. The waitress hands us a school card and a few pencils before leaving. I might not be but chill here, but I'm not very good at being smart, I guess. Come on, I doubted me too hard. Jay! I turn over to see Matt and Brian here with the daughters. What's this a little awkward? Looking like they're ready for some trivia, they come up to our table to greet us. Hey, guys. You're all here for the old question and answer game? Yeah. Come here every week. Brian and Daisy carry the team. Communist and I just need some cheese. Problem 2 lost in New York has been renowned champions for the last month. Man, Brian's a great trivia too. That raises a state. Great name though. Solid team name. That's current ministers came to fame. It hurts me how good I am at puns. Like father, like daughter. You gonna try and give us a run for our money? We'll see what we can do. We're just here for the cheese too. We'll see what we can do to not hurt your feelings too bad. I will destroy you. The cheese will taste so much better than a slice of victory. You're gonna fist bump. Tag team champions. We'll have to think of a good team name, but I think this will be fun. Good luck. Brian, Matt, and their daughters head back to their tables. Oh, that was awkward. Nothing like your ex coming up to you. Ooh. Oh. Well, I guess we need a name. Got any good ideas? Easy, breezy, beautiful. How about like it's 1999? Ah, real monsters. Craigslist Switch Connection. How about like it's 1999? That'll do just like me. The waitress comes by with our cheese boy and we reveal it. It's glory. Already I see a piece of cheddar with our name on it. I pair it with some strawberry preservatives and slide into a dairy inclusive ecstasy. There's such a fine variety of cheeses in. Charcutneys that I'm puzzled overwhelmed. A quick dip into the seasonal nuts, a slice of savory yet salty gouda, or perhaps a focaccia crisp topped with honey and goat's cheese. I'm so happy. Oh. Hugo raises his glass at me. Cheers to cheese. Hey, hey! Oh, hey, hey, hey! A middle aged man in backwards baseball cap, sunglasses, and cargo shorts. <coughs> Sorry, choked at the back fashion. Jogged out of the back with the frenetic energy of a radio DJ. Everybody ready for some trivia? The restaurant cheers. Oh man, looks like everyone's really into it. That's what I like to hear. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Quizmaster Quinn. My actual name's Richard. I just like the alliteration. More cheers. I see some of you brought your children here tonight. That's cool. My children wouldn't come. Ha! I'm just joking. Classic. Quid master queen humor. It's actually my wife that won't speak to me. She doesn't want kids. Let's get into some questions. First category is literature. I'm so Excellent. sad. You know who loved literature? My dead father. I look up to him so much. That's the good stuff. More jokes. Classic quiz master quip. Just trying to keep it light here, folks. Just like I thought my wife was the light of my life. Ah. You know, you got this literature stuff, right? Does Frank Cavaz have an irrational fear of one day walking up a large, gross, intense, insect-like creature? Yes. This is the content that passes the realm of Ghana, Rona, Morta, and Lothinian. Other noble sites include Isgard, the Mirrorwood, and Rinda. What is the Elvish name for this content? Oh, um. Who was the writer that created Tarzan and John Carter of Mass? I have no idea. 
Welcome. Emma Dance is better known as this man. Wrong. The Chris Miner walks around the room. I think he's doing the crowd work. He stops at Miner Hugo's table. Whoa, nice cheese plate you got there. Thank you. How's the cheese tasting, big guy? I'm good. Ha, huh, great. Cheese used to be my favorite food before I developed a lactose intolerance later in life. Hey. I'm sorry to hear that. I also developed a clinical depression. Oh. But people don't tell you to just get over it. You're lactose intolerant, right? Maybe it's like, have you ever tried exercise and get rid of your debilitating dairy allergy? Or you just need to choose to not let your throat close up when you eat brie? Hmm. Oh. Anything? Does that scan? Trying to workshop my routine here. Chris Miner came in one so to another table. Let's start the next round. More cheers from the audience. The next round is cinema. I mean, I love movies. Sometimes I'd retreat into them for days on end because obsession of fictional universes is easier than engaging with my real emotions and problems. Mario Baggins, am I right? Um. Hell yeah. Is he okay? I think he's just into character. I hope. Oh. How was your cinema? Spotty. I don't know a lot about movies, but if there's any questions about bad horror movies, I can be a service. Ah. It's an interesting genre choice. A bit of a guilty pleasure. Return of the Jedi. What does Luke ask Leia if she remembers? Oh, no. I know this. I love these films. Um, Return of the Jedi. Luke asks Leia. I have not seen this film in ages, though. I think it's her promise. Damn it! One entertainment makes a fourth world breaking appearance in the film Gremlins 2. Never seen this. Correct. Oh, cool. Which one of these 80s horror movies dies not featured in Indian burial ground as part of its setting? What? No. Seems like we're doing pretty well. But when I connect with Brian and Matt's team, those guys are pros. Lose at the table and give them a friendly but competitive nod. Hello guys, it's Brian. Gives me a much better nod. And the next guy where he is wrestling. Well, that's oh. rude. Here he grabs my arm. Wait, I got this. Huh? Man, you know who I would want to wrestle with? Literally anyone. I crave human interaction. Please put me in a chokehold. Please, it's been so long since I've been hurt. I, I can only process my emotions by making jokes out of them. Ha, huh, sounds like me. I Let's start with the quiz. Remember that this is the lightning round. The first people to get the answer get the points. Look over to Hugo. He's focused. He's in it to win. Question one. This was the original name of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh. He's debut for WWE. Hugo's hand shoots up. Yes. The enthusiastic one over there. Steve ah. Austin debuted as a ringmaster. That is correct. Points to ah. have it like it's a 1999. Next question. The city was this ah. city was located in the first area of WrestleMania. Oh. Wasn't it New York? Yeah. Oh, New York at Madison Square in Garden, 1985. What? He was destroying these questions. He's so passionate. Never seen him act like this before. It's kind of hot. It's kind of hot, though. Oh, a tough one. This title match went down in history as the shortest match at the WrestleMania to date. Who oh. jumps up more excited than I've ever seen him? In Chavo vs. Kane. Ooh, sorry, Bucko, but that is incorrect. The answer is actually... Daniel Bryan vs. Shima at WrestleMania 28. No, that's absolutely wrong. The real record is Shavagovia and Kane wrestling match 24, March 30, 2018. Kane took down Shami with one choke slam and pinned him for three counts. I'm, I'm not standing this travesty. Hey man, ring for the car here. I don't actually write these. Well, you're still wrong. What are you, my ex wife? The crowd erupts in laughter. Mm. Hugo blushes, he retreats back into his chair. Fine. Poor Hugo. He's been just really fired up. Where did you get this encyclopedia knowledge on wrestling? Uh, How do you know so much about wrestling? You know, just pick up. Were you a wrestler? Hmm? I reckon he was a wrestler. Alright, looks like we're down to the final category. It's a close one with Providence 2, lost in New York. Right, might have five. And have it like it's 1999. Hugo and I high five. We'll go over to Brian, Matt, come in soon, Daisy. All playfully give a thumbs up and stick their tongues out. I ate a big chunk of cheddar without breaking eye attention how serious I am. Final category is cool animals. Animals, huh? I can never take it there, little thing. Oh, I can barely take care of myself, huh? I'm falling apart. Like, I just pulled out my headphones. Anyway, here's the question.
The Canary Islands are named after what kind of animal? Wrong. What is the last animal that appeared in the dictionary? What? <laughs> Correct. What mammal has the thickest concentration of fur in nature? Um, theirs is not really thick. It's actually like quite. Well, it's translucent. I know that. Incorrect. All right, I'm just gonna come around and collect your school guys. We'll see who came out on top. Remember, the winning team gets a 25 gift card to Phil's Auto Care. If you need a car part, Phil will. Feel it. You will need. Go on that gift card. Ah. So, what are your plans after our big win? Hmm, I'll probably retire. Amanda, take Amanda somewhere tropical, drink something out of a coconut. Always meant to do that. What about you? Probably take my wings to Colin's gambling ring, burn it all in black, walk out of there with more rubber bands in the shape of animals than I know what to do with. Mm. Oh, but I like a style. Want a last piece of Havarti? No, that's all you. You definitely earned it. After a couple of minutes, the quiz master jogs back into the room. Everyone immediately quiets down, waiting with battered breaths for the results. Who will win the converted gift card? I really hope it's us. Hey, everybody! We have a great night. Lots of goofs, lots of laughs, a little bit of a light crying in the background. But that's neither here nor there. It was a close game, but the winner for tonight's trivia contest is drum roll please <laughs> province 2 lost in new york come on down and get your gift card for Phil's auto care so where sad. phil knows services god i can't do this anymore just take the gift card i'm sorry matt i suck at trivia brian and matt run up and grab the coupon both bow roaring please i do my best to hugo a sense of appreciation for his hard work i too oh. with only an eyebrow raise and shoulder shrug we'll get them next time jay they haven't heard the last of Havoc like it's 1999. Hugh and I walked back towards our cul-de-sac full of cheese and a sense of defeat. Brian's good, but I saw some tactical weaknesses there which oh. we can exploit in the next trivia night. He seems weak on literature. I think if we establish ourselves early on it would hurt the team morale. Maybe we'd get them more focused on the cheese and winning. You're right, next time we'll be prepared. Show about the one <sighs> wrestling question though. Hmm, I'm not kidding. I plan to rush strongly word that to have employed that man. Come on, there's gotta be a story there. What do you mean? You didn't even stop to think. You pulled the wrestling knowledge <sighs> out like you were at the ring yourself. Oh, it's just stuff I know. I'm gonna say drop it. Alright. But hey, good <clears throat> trivia night. Let's get the band back together soon. Certainly. Here you and I say our goodbyes and make my way back home. I don't want to push people too far, as I tend to do. I only takes a minute to walk back home. Amanda's sitting on the couch reading a book about female photographers. Female power. Wow, I thought you didn't like reading. I don't. This book is all pictures. And even then, my patience is being tired. Did you get to eat all the cheese your little heart desired? Happy little cheese monster. But I made sure to leave room for dinner. Yes. Who wants breakfast for dinner? Hash browns! Okay. Toast dipped an egg! Uh, blueberry pancakes! Well, what if you help me make them? You know, I'm the world's best blueberry sprinkler. And also generally amazing at heating up the maple syrup in the microwave. What? Now tell me about the cheese board. Amanda and I spend the evening cooking an elaborate breakfast with everything we can find inside the fridge. Oh, that didn't go well. Not at all. You're gonna have to work harder than that. Yeah, it really didn't go well. Well, it's been a long day. I'm just about ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn off all the lights and walk down to the hall to my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. As I pass her room, I can hear a faint sound, but I can't make it. I need to get a little closer. She's crying. Um, <laughs> this is all the same. I uh, leave her alone. Hmm. Uh, morning, Amanda. So this is all the same. Oh. We know all of this because it's the same. Um. Uh. Uh. The gossipy one. 
<laughs> what did MR say? I can't ah. believe that. Oh, oh, ah. It's not dumb. Not all friendships last forever. Huh. 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 I love you too, Dad. You know, some basic Tumblr stuff. Love you Welcome. too, Dad. You've got dads. you got dads. So we're going to go on the final date with Hugo. I can commit to this dream daddy. Nicole before beef, you're in the clear. Hmm. First is the worst, second is the best, third is the one with the hairy chest. Ever since the first night at Charcutie's Pie, Hugo and I have made a point of weekly visits to Trivia Night. Harvey Lucas 1999 has come first place ever since, despite Problem 2 lost in New York's continual efforts to dethrone us. Been able to do a complete overhaul of the interior of my car thanks to all of the feels, auto care, gift cards we've received, air fresheners, car charges, you name it, Amanda's riding in the lap of luxury. Aside from the trivia nights, I don't actually get to see Hugo a lot. The end of the school year is coming up and he seems to have a lot of trouble dealing with stress of teaching. I should do something nice for him, maybe help him take his mind off of screaming teenagers. Books. He likes books. But I would have no idea where to start with him. He probably reads more books in a month than I read in the past year. I know he's really into wrestling, but he's reluctant to talk about it since he showed me about it since he showed me his wrestling room. I know he's shy about it, but maybe whatever. Let's roll the dice. I think I have a plan. Hey alright folks, looks like we finally have the points tally and we're ready to announce a winner. You know who else is a winner? Me, because I finally just see how beautiful and loving my wife is. Good. Fix we go. All of us regular stand at the intervention of Quizmaster Quinn. We sat down in a circle and told him that we wanted to see him better and love himself. He agreed and started going to couple therapy with his wife. The last time he told us that they adopted a dog together. I love you forever, my quiz class, my quiz master queen. Hmm? Can't tell which one I prefer. There were things to like and dislike about both. And the winner is for the fourth oh. week in a row, Harvick Like It's 1999. We cheer. Mavic Harvick Like It's 1999. Rain will be as long as one of oh. my marriage to my beautiful wife. We make our way to the celebratory round of high fives. To the rest of the team and sit down and finish our cheese board, savoring every last bit of burrito with pesto and slice of tomato. Hey, I have a surprise for you. For me? Yes, oh. and for once it isn't more cheese. Well, if you think you can somehow top that, be my guest. I bought a book that I've been carefully hiding um. one of my pockets and slide over to Hugo. Oh. Uh, Hugo picks up the book and reads the title out. Harry Buzzkick, Crapper Keeper. I wanted to get you a book, but I figured you probably already own every classical piece of literature, so I thought this would be fun. For when you're mm. pooping. Hugo laughs. You should flip through it. Hugo looks up at me, raising an eyebrow. After flipping through a couple of pages, he finally comes across a small gift I oh. strategically hid inside. You're kidding me. Hugo hey. looks around, where then he makes a scene. He leans in. You're kidding me. Hugo pulls out the wrestling tickets I hid inside the Crapper Creeper. This is the World Federation of Wrestling Power Slam series. You've been working so hard lately, I thought you ah. might like them. Like them? I love this, thank you. But wait, there's two. Yeah, I figured we could huh? go together. You go with me? Heck yeah, I need you to explain the final points of wrestling to me though. Hugo gets up, walks around the table, and actually picks me up in a big bear hug. Oh, they're the cutest. I love those. Has he been this strong the ah. whole time? Damn. Thank you. I like a little squeak of sort of, you're welcome. I'm sorry, what? Okay. So I have power slam. You can show us on my doorstep and allow oversized wrestling tee. It's a little blushy, extremely cute. No kidding. We drive by an hour to another city for the big event. You guys spend the entire ride teaching me the basics of wrestling and terminology I need to know. So, hmm. it's fake, right? Well, yes and no. While wrestling and the act of hurting another wrestler is fake, the work requires remarkable athleticism and oftentimes results in actual injury. Those people are getting hurt, sure, but not in a way we're led to believe. Historically, wrestling, as we know it today, was created by carnival workers to fix gambling. And the people who actually believed it to be real would bet on these matches we call marks. That we know that is technically fake, but still chooses to suspend our disbelief, making us smarks. Smart markers. 
So I should be watching for this. Mm -hmm. Watching this for the acrobatics and the tension and drama and the storyline. I think anything or anyone can tell a good story. You just have to look for the story. Even something like what we're about to experience will tell a phenomenon. Sometimes understand stories depict a ridiculous premise. Oh. Damn. What? I just really wouldn't have paid you for a huge wrestling fan. Plus, I love when people rant about things I love. It's my favorite. Eh. Nobody does. I get it. I'm a button-down teacher type. I like poetry and art history. I write dissertation on heavy times by Russian authors for fun. But I like wrestling. It's a big part of who I am because it considers kind of low bro. I feel like I can't share it with anybody because they'll just make fun of me. So oh. now, Hugo smiles himself. Hey. Now. This would be cool to go to a wrestling match and see it, like I'd love to just go out and do anything. <laughs> that sounded so bad. <laughs> it's not what I meant. Hugh and I enter the stadium and we are directed to the upper level. After grabbing some snacks, we make our way to the stairs. The further up we go, the more my heart sinks. I had thought we had gotten a good seat, but by this point the ring looks like a postage stamp. We finally settle into our spots and wait for the match to start. I'm sorry, I thought I got us tickets on the lower level. I look over to Hugo, who apparently oh. didn't even hear me. He's vibrating with excitement. This is so cool. I guess he doesn't mind. I have to admit, I've been too embarrassed to come to one of these since I was a kid. What's there to be embarrassed about? Everyone here loves wrestling. Plus, who are we going to see that we know? Oh. We're like an hour out of Maple Bay. I guess you're right. Hmm. So what do you look forward to tonight? Oh man, the lineup is stacked. All of the matches are going to be great, but the one I'm really for really looking forward to is Eastern Dragon match. The Eastern Dragon? Yeah, he used to wrestle as Pablo Escobro, hmm. but I guess he eventually had to change it. Wrestlers' names are weird. He's actually an Iranian guy from Utah. Oh, so that's where your shirt's from. Ah. Yep, I've been following this guy since his debut in an indie wrestling league, and it's been amazing to see him rise to the ranks and into the professionals. Who's he up against? The corporate show. Technically wise, I don't think he's that good of a wrestler, and I don't think that the fans like him. Yes. Certainly an interesting character, though. The stadium lights dim, and the crowd starts screaming, but rock blasts through the sound systems, and some pirate is set off around the ring. Ladies and gentlemen of the sold out crowd in Mill Creek, Massachusetts. 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 Who's ready to power slam? Who and I scream? We watch two wrestlers, the Southern Dandy and Johnny Snowman, walk out to even more buttery. The Southerner Dandy mixes and drink and mint jubilee in the ring before the match. Oh. The crowd eats it up. The Southern Dandy's from Maine. Like my boy Ethan from Crane Gameplays. Hmm. Is Johnny Snowman from the no not from the North Pole? He's from Dodge, actually. After a long match, Johnny Snowman, who dressed up like a muscular elf, does what Hugo calls a German suplex on a Southerner Downey. I don't know what's happening, but this is amazing. Hit him, Johnny! Elbow the heck out of him, Johnny! Show the Southern Downey some North Pole manners! Johnny Snowman does indeed elbow the heck out of him. It's gonna hmm. hurt. Oh god, is he okay? Wrestling is a sport of communication. All these guys trained together know not only how to perform moves, but how to respond to them. It allows them to look like they're being hurt, but only kind of hurt. The crowd cheers as Johnny Simon pins the Southern Danny and has announced the winner. This match features a wrestler named Generation Y2K, who comes out looking like a hipster barista. Is it Matt? He takes selfies with fans on the way up to the ring and pauses after everyone to and pauses after everyone to post it on Instagram. He's really playing up the millennial thing, huh? He's sort of the bogeyman to old time wrestling fans. He's a pirate the old timer walks out. Oh. Crown seems to be divvied in who they're rooting for. The old timer pulls some pretty sweet moves after he takes out a walking cane from under the stage and beats Generation Y2K over the head with it. Up against the road, Generation Y2K blinds the old timer with a flash on his camera phone and is able to pin him to win the match. He takes a celebratory selfie with his unconscious patient, opponent. During a break, Hugo and I leave to get refills from the concession stand. We wind our way through the clusters of wrestling fans to get to the line. So, what do you think so far? 
I'm glad I'm here with you. The wrestling is cool, but I really like seeing you so enthusiastic. It's don't say hot, don't say hot. Mm. Cool. You know, I'm kind of surprised. I was sort of expecting the crowd to just be a bunch of aggressive, sweaty older guys, but it's so diverse. I haven't seen a bunch of families with hey. the kids. Everyone looks super happy to be here. Oh yeah, that's how I got into wrestling. When I was a kid, my dad used to take me and my brothers to match all the time. There's one gaggle of kids loading in the corner. And they're exceptionally loud. Even over the din of the stadium, look close. I can't help but feel like these kids seem familiar. Oh god, I know these kids. They're Hugo students. Uh, so don't turn around when I tell you this, but some new students are here. I don't know. New immediately tenses up. Oh my god, I can't let them see me here. They'll never listen to me ever again. I position myself between the kids and Hugo, hoping that I can act as a human shield. Glance over at the children again. I recognize that Colin kid. He kicks one of his friends in the shins and laughs. Man, that Colin kid's a real piece of work. Colin, if he sees me, he'll never let me go. He's a master manipulator. We have to get back to the... The relative safety of our seats was the plan. Creator's version, just walk back to your seats. There's a, this is a sneaky mission. We've got to be sneaky. If we're going to get back to the ring unscratched, how quiet are you? I've gotten pretty good sneaking up on students who are texting under the desk during class, so they be pretty quiet indeed. Perfect. We just need to find some color behind as we now get to our seats. Where to? Um, <laughs> quick get inside my shirt. Duck under the snack counter behind the merch rack. Stuck on the snack counter. I hop over the snack bar and hide between the legs of the guy who's working there. Hugo stumbles after me, knocking some ketchup bottles on the floor. The cashier stares down at us. Be wild, I put up a finger to my mouth as universal sign for please don't tattle on us. The guy shrugs and goes back to work. Hugo and I sit down and breathe a sigh of relief. Phew, that was a close one. Now we can hide out for the rest of the night and enjoy ourselves in the comfort of not a minute with a large crowd. Hell yes. The lights dim again. This is the match you've been waiting for. The corporate Shilly walks out to the elevator music. He's wearing a three-piece suit, which I didn't even know existed, and sunglasses. When he gets the ring, he takes off his sunglasses and rips the sleeves off his suit jacket, flexing his arms to the crowd. One of the people for his interior produces a graph chart and sets it up in the center of the ring. The corporate Shilly grabs a microphone. I got a message for the Eastern Dragon. If you refer to this graph in the center of the ring, you'll see a quarterly production of how much I'm about to kick your ass. The whole crowd erupts. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the Jumbotron, we'll look up at the PowerPoint presentation titled Kicking the Eastern Dragon's Ass, Key Performance Indicator. The corporate Shilly takes a laser pointer and gives a lengthy presentation on just how and why he will defeat the Eastern Dragon. He showcases several well-utilized clip graphs. Clip out graphs. That was informative. Lights zoom again and a pan flute music plays. Is this a pan flute? I'm actually not sure if I know what a pan flute actually sounds like. The Eastern Dragon walks out to cheers the crowd. Aren't our pan flutes a Central American oh. thing? Hugo shrugs. Wrestling. The Eastern Dragon stands up out of the ring and grabs a microphone. Corporate Shilly, it's nice to see you again. More cheers. That was a good presentation. The clip art was a very nice touch. He points to the corporate shilling. I'm looking forward to a nice and exciting match. Hmm. The crowd doesn't really know what to do here. He's uh, he's not the best at trash talk, but I promise he's one of the most talented wrestlers you'll ever see. The match, the match starts, and it's just as exciting as Hugo hypes it up to be. The Eastern Dragon perform, performs some ridiculous aerial stump that makes me concerned for his safety. He does what Hugo calls a monster. A moon salute from the top row of the... Mm, I can't read because I'm too excited. The air in the stadium is electric as these two athletics athletes lock arms and try to destroy one another. I can't help but get into it. The Corporal Shilly pile drives the Eastern Dragon who looks past down the center of the ring. He comes on top of the rope and motions to the cheering crowd. Oh no, he's about to do his finishing move. The Corporate Ladder. Oh god. The Corporate Shilling poses at the top of the ropes. The Eastern Dragon still isn't moving. Could this be the end of his young career? Oh. Get up, Eastern Dragon! You can do it, Eastern Dragon! The Corporate Shilling lurches off the top of the rope in a huge arch. He brings his elbow down on the Eastern Dragon while the fuel force of the Fortune 5000 company putting local vendors out of business. The Corporate Shilling pins the Eastern Dragon and the match <sighs> ends. Hugo sinks in his chair. Man, he should have won that. I sit down oh. with Hugo. What a match! 
This is amazing. I think I'm a fan of wrestling now. Yuga looks over to me with an eyes catch. I'm glad. The event goes on, and we have a little downtime before the next match. We decide just to relax in our city to avoid any middle schoolers. It's unlikely they ever notice us in the upper level nosebleed. I look over the Jumbotron. Oh hey, they're doing the kiss cam thing. It zooms out. It zooms in on a bunch of cute couples who are all doing a quick smooch to ravenous cheers in the, from the crowd. Oh, that's so cute. Huh? And then it zooms in on Hugo and I. What? What? What, what do I do here? Panic. I look over at Hugo and see the same mortified expression on his face. The entire crowd is chanting and neither of us know what to do. Um. We take Hugo's identity. I jump in front of Hugo instead. I give him the camera the finger. They can't show that on television, can they? The camera really moves on. I guess all the sweaty violence is fine, but a finger isn't. Thanks, I think. I sit down again, trying to ignore the day look I'm getting for the people who eh. came here for the wholesome content. So much for laying low, I guess. The rest of the match thankfully goes off without an incident. Hugo and I eventually laugh off the kiss cam and get back into wrestling. After the show ends, he convinces me to hang back and let the rest of the crowd exit so we wouldn't risk running into Colony's awful group of friends. By the time Hugo and I walk back to his car, most of the wrestling fans have cleared out. The parking lot is surprisingly empty, save for a beat up car parked a few spots down from us. We where they really keep an eye out for any stray middle schoolers as we hang out by our car. Mm. Man, that was an experience. Right, it's one thing to watch on TV, but to be there in person is just... My throat is dying. Oh, wow. Thank you again. I would never experience this if it weren't for you. Is it just me and Hugo in front of the car in an empty parking lot? I look down. Kind of funny mm. about the kiss cam, huh? Yeah, it was super funny. But neither of us are smiling. We look at each other's eyes and I can feel a warmth raining from my cheeks. We stare at each other for just a little bit too long. Hey, cool shirt! I turn and see a guy in a hoodie and basketball shorts walk up to us, a duffel bag slung over his shoulder. Sweet I see one of those shit. years. Oh my god, uh, yeah, I got it from a trade with this guy from streetsmart.net. I love that website. Someone always posts... Someone always posts these awesome, super detailed breakdowns of matches in the indie circuit. Have you seen those? The names like uh, J uh, something, JD Slammering. Yeah, that's him. Those are my write-ups. You're JD Slammeringer? You're kidding. Oh man, I'm such a huge fan of your work. So nice to meet you. Mm. Man fiercely shakes Hugo's hand. I am honored. Ah oh, man, I wish I could stay in chat. I have so many questions, but I'm. But I'll PM you on the formulas if you ever want to talk shop. Absolutely. The man starts walking away. Hugo coughs nervously to get his attention again. Um, is there any chance you could sign my shirt? The guy turns around and beams. Sure thing. Wait. Finally clicks into place. You're the Eastern Dragon? I love your work. <laughs> Thank you, man. The Eastern Dragon signs Hugo's shirt, waves goodbye, and walks to his car. I stand there with my mouth open the entire time. Ah. That was the Eastern Dragon. He likes my work. Dude, you're like friends with the Eastern Dragon now. He's gonna PM me. You and I high five. So excited, he's shaking. Woo! Who's the Vega? Oh man. Colin is creamy, he's just pop up huh? out of nowhere. Oh no, here we go. Colin, nice to see you and your friends all the way out here. What are you doing here? I don't, I don't see a library anywhere near us. I was watching the Power Slam series with my friend. Ha! Mr. Vega likes wrestling. What a fart knocker. Actually, that's pretty cool. Shut up, weed. Nah, man, that's actually right as hell. Who are you just talking to? Probably one of your stupid book nerd friends. Actually, he was talking to his good buddy, the Eastern Dragon. All of Con's friends gasped. Guys, come on, he's lying. There's no way the Eastern mm -hmm. Dragon would hang out with these losers. Oh, yeah, how'd I get his autograph then? Colin's friends lose their minds, screaming their heads mm. off. Colin is red with anger. See you in class, bitch. You can't say that to me. Who's gonna believe you? Hugo and I hop in the car, and to tune on more childish dreams, we laugh all the way home. Hell yeah. Okay, that's a lot. Hugh and I descend the stairs of his home into the wrestling man cave where we both crack a beer. We're both wearing down after the exciting event. 
So, if you were a wrestler, what would your persona oh. be? Who you meant is me, like, JD Summering, my former name. I gotta represent my literary roots. My costume would be a tweed coat, and my finishing move would be a catcher in the eye, where I poke my opponent's eye out by co and call them a phony. Oh. Wow. Good in a lot of thought. What about you? Mm, it would be... <laughs> Dad. Bomb Clancy. Mario... No, Bomb Clancy. I come out in a bomber jacket, ABA sunglasses, and navy cap. Finish your move is a hunt from the Red Shocktober, where I accuse the other wrestler of being a communist and defeat them in a decade-long proxy war. Just now, reason I don't know any actual wrestling moves. You know I could teach you some. I smirk. I'm game. If you and I scrap in the center of the room, we're ready to go at it. I'll go easy on you. On um, Bomb Clancy, absolutely not. And before I know I'm on the floor, Hugo wraps his oh. leg around me and squeezes. I can't move. This is a figure four leg lock. If I were applying full force right now, you would be in extreme pain. The FC twists around again and grabs my arm. Good lord, he's strong. Any movement on my end is useless. And this is an armband. You're uh, oh. pretty good. You can tap it anytime you like. Not a chance. Hugo flips around one last time and told me. He hooks his arm under my leg and presses his body down on my chest. And this is me pinning you. Our faces are inches apart right now. I can't tell if he's breathing heavy because of our physical attraction or because of something else. I lean forward and kiss Hugo, who seems just as surprised as I am. I pull back a little embarrassed, but he kisses me again. He slowly releases his submission hold on me and cradles my face in his hands. He presses his forehead against mine and we laugh. I guess we both win. Guess so. Pull him back in for another kiss. Ah. Do you have any more moves to show me? I think I might have a few. Hmm. Date complete. Baby boy. So I think it went okay. Looks like Paradise Lost yes. just got found. Hey. I'm so happy that went well. So make sure you sleep under ten so you don't sleep. Yes. That's so true. Always try your best at everything. That is very true. Always make sure you try your best. I just realized the time and I was like, I have not had dinner yet and it is almost eight o'clock. <laughs> well, everything's fine and and Amanda should be here any minute. I think it's her okay, act natural. Hmm. What? No. You're allergic to shellfish. Oh, I forgot again. Uh, gonna be sick. <laughs> okay, I can fast forward all of this. Hey, Matt was in his... Quizmaster Quinn, Jay. Quizmaster. Hey, hey, he's ready for a crazy graduation party. You're a... You don't have to be on right now, Quiz. It's just a party. What do you mean? It's the, uh... You know what? Keep the energy. Hold it close. You deserve it. Just like me and my loving wife deserve happiness, right? Yeah. <laughs> um. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to my boy Matt. Oh, Craig, I love you. So much. I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Or you. Whoa, hold on. Uh, are you Hugo's kid? He's having a mess. Oh, that's cool. Well, geez, Ernest, I don't know what to say. You know, I think people got you pegged wrong. You're on the soft side. If you tell anyone that, I'm going to set your trash can on fire. There it is. We'll see you don't know me. Before I can run, Ernest walks away. Kind of vape trailing behind him. Well, that was at least a little pleasant. I'm sad I missed a bit of it. Um. Sorry, man. I don't want to really talk to you. So you see next to Hugo. Yes. Ah. The last guest to make their way at the party. Cool shirt. Thanks. Reminds me of a special night. So the secret's out, huh? Hugo likes wrestling. You know, I was really nervous to come here just like this. But everybody in the neighborhood, they were nothing but accepting of me and my hobbies. It turned out that Craig's a huge fan too. How is he? Colin told everyone at school that I'm into wrestling, but it actually backfired on him. The kids have a weird sort of respect for me now. A few of them even asked me to be the sponsor of their wrestling club. 
not the Olympic wrestling, the wrestling that I like. I actually like both, but there's an important distinction, and I think you should know which one I'm talking about. See, just goes to show there's nothing wrong oh. with being open about what you like. I agree. And as long as I'm being open, I'm also huge and very handsome dads. You throw great parties for their kids. I love a good word jumble. I blush. And I'm a big fan of... Quick, think of something clever. Hugo's. This Hugo. Specifically. Ah. Hugo laughs. He drapes an arm around my shoulder and pulls me close. He plants a soft kiss. I'm happy here. Me too. Hugo and I watch the sun dip before the horizon. Hey, do you think maybe oh. later you could show me a new wrestling moves? Jay, how about I show you my pump handle pile driver? I can't hey. help but giggle. <laughs> What's that? You'll see. Medicine is not always the best medicine. That is true. I think that turned out quite well. If I do say so myself. I love this series and I'm kind of sad it's ending. But... This is the last episode. Dream Daddy. <gasps> we got the final ending card. Hugo, your art style has changed. I'm not going to complain though, because that's not a bad photo of you. Um, but yeah, that was the final episode of Dream Daddy kind of sad that this is ended but it has we've dated three out of six dads I believe three out of seven dads had to double check so yeah with that I'm gonna end this series here thank you guys so much for watching if you'd like to let me know in the comments below anyway Jara see you guys in the next video Whoop sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! See ya. Goodbye dads. You've all been wonders to me.
Guess who?